provide you with an example. So the coffee that I'm drinking right now, so I know that it's coming from Ecuador, from a farmer named Abelardo, who cultivated his coffee beans the following very uh, precise ecological guidelines. Then the coffee has been sold to the broker. The broker so then sold the coffee to a distributor. The distributor shipped the coffee from the port of Panama to Liverpool. Then from Liverpool, so the coffee beans have been transported to a food processing unit in the northern London, where it was grinded, roasted, packaged, then distributed to the supermarket and to the coffee shops. And uh, this is actually a very simple example of, uh, of a supply chain. Hey, our world runs on supply chains today, from the food that we eat to the mobiles that we use, uh, the products travel hundreds and thousands of miles before it reaches. And as the supply chains are becoming global, they're also becoming very complex and fragmented. So that's causing a lot of inefficiencies in the, in the system. We track the products from the manufacturer to the customer, recording vital information about the product, such as how it's being handled, where it is right now, what are the documentation associated with it, and record everything on a blockchain ledger that connects all the stakeholders of the supply chain. As the data is tamper-proof, distributed, and decentralized, it creates trust, transparency, and authenticity for the products in the supply chain. We at SciStellar, so we are providing a food traceability system that uh, records every step so, so during the, the food uh, distribution chain and makes that data transparent to the consumer, to the certification authorities or to the insurers. One can simply retrieve the traceability information by scanning a QR code so that is available on every food packaging so that has our traceability system. There are three major advantages that the food traceability brings to the table. So, firstly, it provides you as a consumer so with, uh, uh, with the proof that the food is authentic. It is what the label claims it is. Uh, secondly, because we record every step in the supply chain, so starting from the local farmers so, and finishing with the supermarket. So we can use that data to, to optimize every step of the food distribution chain. Uh, thirdly, in an, in an unfortunate event of a food recall situation, so we can easily and, and quickly trace back the food to the origin and to see actually where the food has been distributed elsewhere and, and stop those distribution channels. So, uh, if you look at the supply chain, this enormous amount of product wastage and most of it is covered under some insurance policies. So the insurers end up paying a lot of money for the product waste or product spoilage. So by making the supply chains more efficient and providing that information to all the stakeholders, we reduce the risk of the product wastage and in turn uh, reduce the claims. The data that, uh, uh, that we gather from the supply chain, it's extremely useful for the insurers to, to estimate the risks during the production transportation and storage of the food, but also to minimize the losses uh, during the unfortunate event of a food recall situation.